Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. 20, well, yeah. 27 is close enough. 27 is <clears throat> close enough. What's his name? Sun, Suntran. Suntran comes in with a RAM upgrade question. Well, that certainly goes right up my alley because I always recommend just eight gigs of RAM for most, oh wait, no I don't. Carry on. He asks, he's got a 16 gig kit, two of eight gigs. It's 3200 CL16. Good. This is got a 5900X. He, he's gonna upgrade. He's looking to upgrade. No, he, you're not looking, you will upgrade. And he wants to know if, she, if he should buy the 32 gigs of 3600 or just add the same 16 gigs onto the current kit. Suntran, let's take a walk. How in the ever-loving Lord of the World Almighty PC hashtag master race did you end up with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 16 gigs of RAM? Now... Disclaimer to all the haters and the YouTube commenters out there. Yes, I know. Plenty of machines are fine with 16 gigs of RAM. If he had a Ryzen 5 1600, I wouldn't be complaining. He has a $550 12-core, 24-thread, fastest CPU at that level in the world. And he's got 16 gigs of RAM. That should have been replaced when he got the 5900X. But maybe he didn't know. Maybe... Somebody told him 16 gigs is all you need, like those other people who keep repeating it, even though it's increasingly not true, especially for a 12-core machine. I'm sorry, it just rubs you the wrong way, because if you're going to buy a top-of-the-line chip like that, I shudder to ask what his SSD is. <laughs> if you don't have a premium one terabyte boot NVMe SSD, I'm going to be a little bit grumpy with you as well. Um, I mean, I understand why some people go with a mid-range $250 CPU and everything's budget and compromise. Well, no, this is premium. I mean, There's you, nothing compromised about it. When you buy a 5900X, you're automatically going premium, which means you got to put the good stuff in there. To answer the question... Oh, it's a week old. He's working on it. Ah, well, <laughs> yeah, I should have said that in the original question. It would have saved... It would have saved you so much shame. <laughs> Hang on, the screen goes to the to the black and white, and exactly. we go. Mm. <laughs> He's, I'm like, I'm working on it. <laughs> and he is in Australia too, so you know. He paid Australia price for the 5900X. He can afford Australia price on That's more right. RAM. So what? So basically, what you're saying is, go. He's got to just go. He go 64. Well. It well, depends. It depends what you're doing with it, which he didn't answer either. But he's in chat, so... At the very least, get 32 gigs of RAM that matches your current memory and go to 48. So if you've got 8 by 2 meaning 16 gigs now, if you put in a 32 gig, gig kit, then you'll have 48. I would not upgrade to 32 with that. You're buying now. You're buying for the next 3 plus years. I mean, you can... Obviously, money is everything. It depends on whether he has a use for the 16 gig kit. If I had a use for the 16 gig, gig kit, I would pull the 16 gigs out and I would buy a 64 gig kit and drop it into place. Yeah. You bought a Ryzen 9. You bought a almost top of the line CPU. You get a beast of a computer that should last you for a number of years. J just put in the extra RAM and be done with it. No, you probably don't need 64 gigs today. But the kind of person who buys a 5900X will by the time that chip needs replacing. Exactly. And if you only get 32 and then you want to try and upgrade to 32 later, it's just really hard. So you might as well just get the 64 now. Although 64 in Australia. It'll be expensive. Now here's the plus expensive. side. His current RAM is 3200 CL16. Yeah. If he buys a 32 gig kit of 3200 CL16, even if it's not exactly the same memory chips or ICs, Odds are it's going to work fine so long as he has a 500 series motherboard. Normally, I don't like mixing RAM kits. Mixing a pair of 3600 RAM kits would be more questionable because it's closer to the top RAM speed of the chip. But 3200 should not... The, 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 the tolerances at 3200 are greater than the tolerances at 3600 are. So yeah. if he buys a 32 gig kit, buy a 3200, not a 3600. 
Yeah, keep, keep the timing or keep the megahertz the same. Yeah, and then just add it to your existing kit and then you got 48 and then you're done. There we go. That's a bit of nuance that gets lost. To everybody else watching, that's a bit of nuance that has lost what everybody, somebody, because you see advice all over the internet. Yeah, YouTube comments, Reddit comments, Twitter comments. You need this much RAM. You need this much RAM. Well, the person with a Ryzen 5 and the person with a Ryzen 9 are most certainly not doing the same things with their computer. And the person with the Ryzen 9 is gonna invariably need more RAM because double the cores does multitasking, multiple monitors, exactly. maybe non-gaming tasks. And remember that Windows will use your extra RAM as disk cache. And so it reduces disk swap and extends the life of your SSD as well. So it's not wasted. I went from 32 to 64 on my machine at home, and I only have an 8-core. My 16-core Ryzen 9 5950X will have 128. I'm not a typical user, I get that. But again, somebody with a 5900X isn't either. Exactly. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.